Howdy y'all! Welcome back to my channel. So, sorry to any Southern Americans like from the South that I just offended there with my howdy y'all. Um, it's because I've got a cowboy hat in today's video and I'm very very excited about it. I hope that you are all doing super super well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Hi, I hope you stick around. My name is Georgia May. Today I am filming a video in collaboration with Nasty Owl and I'm so excited. I, I filmed one of these last summer and I just love their summer stuff. I don't know, I feel like it's very cool. It's a little bit different. Definitely has more of those like elements of kind of like Western cowboy style that I love. So I am super excited for this one today. Shout out to Nasty Gal for working with me in today's video and also for giving me a discount code. So I do have a discount code. I'm gonna pop it on the screen right now and I will leave it in the description box. It's just Georgia M35. Georgia M35 here down there, you guys will have the code. Um, I do believe the code is UK only. So sometimes when I have those codes, people are like, oh my gosh, why can't I use it? If you're not in the UK, that will be why. So I just wanna let you guys know. I will link every single item in the description box below so that you guys can shop the links. I'm not gonna ramble on too much. I wanna make this succinct, succinct, succinct easy to watch and quick. Um, if you've got any specific questions, feel free to ask me below. I love replying to you guys in the comments. Make sure you are following me here on YouTube. Make sure you are also following me on Instagram because today I have revealed a really big secret that I've been keeping from you guys for a little bit. Um, so definitely check out my Instagram account and also my home account because I will be updating that a lot more regularly now. So yeah, I'm so excited for all the homework content I can bring you guys in this channel. I just can't wait. That's enough rambling. I'm going to drive straight on into it. I'm probably going to start with the most exciting thing in this haul because I can't help myself. It is an accessory, but it's a, it's a cowgirl hat. I'm freaking out over this. Okay. Wouldn't wear this with this outfit. I would wear this. Like I legit would wear this. They have got, have I put it on the wrong way around? Oh my God. I just put it on the wrong way around. I'm like offended at my own soul. Didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I actually don't think there is a wrong way around. It's kind of the same both ways yeah it's kind of the same both ways um oh no that's bigger that's like the man bit you know at the back of the hat anyway i've got myself a cowgirl cowboy hat vibe if you've been watching me for a while i have an affin affinity with um texas with the south with like cowboys sweet home alabama is one of my favorite movies anything kind of like country vibes western like a cowboy boot i'm here for it um yeah if i could meet a lovely like southern gentleman i don't know i like it so i loved the hat and i also just felt like with basic kind of plain white pieces in my wardrobe i actually have something that i'm going to share with you in a bit this could just be popping like i love the idea of it if you follow delaney childs here on um social media on instagram or whatever she rocks a cowboy hat regularly and the girl just looks cool doing it. So I'm going to try and fake it till I make it. That's the big thing, by the way. People are like, how are you so confident or how do you wear what you want to wear? Honestly, fake it till you make it and then you end up actually kind of becoming that confident person. So it's it's all a lie. Just love it. They don't hot pink. I nearly got the hot pink. I didn't. I kind of want to get a hot pink one too. It's just a bit of fun. Like, I mean, I don't know where I'm wearing these. I know... One of my friends, Bella Stovey, she'll probably let me wear this with her. But any of my other friends, I think they'll be like, Georgia, get that hat off. But it's a cute accessory if you want to like hold it or do this with it or it's fun. You know what I mean? So I had to show you guys the hat. Let's move away from the hat and onto some of the other things. I am going to jump straight on into this video with a dress because I love a dress. Um, I saw this on the website and I just really loved it. I love the colorway, the little check design and also the shape. Shape is really crucial for me when it comes to clothing. And I just liked this very feminine floaty dress. This is something I tend to stick to in the summer purely just because like, it doesn't matter how much you eat. You know, it doesn't matter what you're doing. It's nice and floaty and you just, you still feel good in it. So I grabbed this dress in a size UK 10 and I will jump into it right now for you guys. Happy and healthy, not me. Hey guys, so this is the little checked lilac dress. I absolutely love this, it's so me. You could definitely accessorize this with a little straw hat. You could do it with trainers, sandals in the summer. Yeah, this I feel super, super comfortable in. I really hope Nasty Gal do this in a couple of other, nearly went flying, literally nearly went flying over the rail. 
um, in a few other colourways because I think it's something I would definitely gravitate towards. Also girls, the length is quite nice on this so as you know I'm about five for eight and it's, it's an absolutely fine, oh my cowboy hat's going on the floor, what is going on today? Um, the length at the back is absolutely fine, it's definitely not too short, which is quite rare for me to find dresses that are a nice length. So I'm actually very, very happy with the fit of this. I think it looks really cute, very girly and feminine. You could throw on a denim jacket, which is what I'm going to show you in a minute. With little trainers and white ankle socks, a cardigan, super easy. Really like Nasty Gal, by the way, if you are someone that kind of wants stuff that's a little bit quirky and a little bit different. I have a bit of a statement piece that I'm going to share with you now, but they, they definitely do things on their website that are just a little bit... I don't know, a bit more exciting, I think, than your kind of standard online places. So I do really, really like their stuff. It definitely has like some of that like boho vibe to it. If you're kind of like boho or maybe, um, yeah, that's the that's probably bang on. I think their stuff is definitely that sort of vibe. 70s, it's always been a little bit like that or like rock chick and they have a lot of like graphic tees and stuff. So yeah, that's just kind of like my two cents on Nasty Gal if you've never tried them. I saw this jacket and I was like, I absolutely have to have it. Now, the only thing I'm gonna say is I think I need to probably iron every single one of these little tassels, which doesn't matter. Um, it's just gonna take me a long time, but I, I did all these ones at the front and I love the effect of that more than this. So I really love these kind of white tassels. I got this in the UK 10, really glad I didn't size up in it because it already looks kind of oversized. I thought this was the perfect statement jacket for the summer. Some of you are screaming at the computer right now, like, or your phone, like, George, George, have you gone crazy? I may well have gone crazy, been a bit stressed lately, but I still stand by this as an amazing jacket. And also my vision for this is kind of like just that festival vibe. I love dressing in the summer, kind of a little bit more dramatic and fest. This is a festival denim jacket. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Guys, I love the jacket. Okay, okay, I'm really, really happy about this. But there's a lot happening. You cannot tell me that this is not a cool piece for a festival, like a little pic. Here I am, this is me at the back. Like the movement, the fringe. I love that it's in white. It's gonna look amazing with so many things in my wardrobe. I've also recently bought a pair of cowboy boots that are on the way. So imagine this with some cowboy boots, like a black little slip dress and this hat. Like, I'm sorry, I think this is the coolest festival look ever. In general, I do actually really like this jacket. I think it's so cool. Um, I love all the fringe. I love that it's all underneath the kind of sleeves on this. Like I said, I didn't size up and I actually love the size of it. I do think they do it in black. And I also think they do a different kind of variation of this jacket. So this one I think was more of the like inexpensive ones. So I will link this specific one, but they also do a leather version of it, which looks honestly stunning. It looks so, so nice. So if you want more of like a heavy duty, kind of thicker, warmer jacket, maybe opt for that. But I think for the summer, this is more my kind of thing. I absolutely love it. And I've also got a pair of like really cute little denim shorts and I'm like, oh, would this be a vibe with those? Like. I'm so happy about this jacket. I think this is just gonna be my favorite item. Like, not only the whole of this haul, the whole of summer. Some of you think I've completely gone bonkers, which I've, I very may well have. Um, but I'm very happy about it. Right, let's move on to the next thing. So next time I'm gonna do something that's definitely a little bit more, more wacky and a little bit more out there. I really, really hope these fit me. So again, I've seen a lot of girls on at Pinterest rocking this kind of trouser. And as much as I love a flared trouser, it can be kind of unforgiving because the fabric is quite thin. So I wanted to try this style of jean in a pair of denim jeans. These are so cool. I'm trying to just be a little bit more out there with my style. I think particularly this year, you know, with trends and everything. Oh, bear with me. Because I've seen these on so many cool girls on Pinterest and Instagram, I really wanted to give them a go. They do a range of different prints, by the way, on Nasty Gal, but something about the blue and white I love a bit of like kind of this baby blue. They're very cool, they're very Austin Powers. That's the kind of vision I'm getting. Um, you know what, you're never too old to wear what you want. I went through a little phase where I was like, oh God, you know, I'm, in, I'm 25, I'm having my quarter life crisis moment. And then someone left a comment on a video of mine that basically said, you are never too old to wear what you want. Like society has warped your brain into thinking that and like, you're so right, you know, you can wear whatever the heck you want, whatever you feel good in, empowered in. So I'm really into these. The only thing is, is will I get them on? 
Um, so love the aesthetic, think they're very cool. Will I actually get them on? Let's see, this could be entertaining. Grab them in a medium. They don't have a lot of stretch. So I maybe should have got the large, we will see. Bear with those, I actually did pick up one of um, Nasty Al's graphic tees. So they have a lot of graphic tees on the site. This was the one I just really, really liked. Kind of got the motorcycle vibe going on. And I just thought it was a really basic yet handy oversized tee. They do like Nirvana, Guns N' Roses. Um, who else is on there? Oh my God. ACDC, I think there's a few of those ones. It kind of depends on your vibe and your music style. I have bought a Nirvana tee before because I love Kurt Cobain, but um, I'm not really like, it in, it's not that I'm not into ACDC and things like that. I think it was just a little bit before my time. So I don't really listen to those kinds of bands. I mean, I know my parents do, but yeah, I kind of opted instead for this sort of like motorcycle one. I just thought it was quite cute. It says American Vintage Motorcycles, and I did get it in a large. I prefer that oversized fit. I like the option of wearing it with cycling shorts or being able to tie it or cut it. So I think these pair kind of nicely together. Let's see what we think when they're on. I'm gonna do an Insta versus reality moment for you guys here. This is the look. I flipping love the trousers, jeans. I like love them. Like I think they are so cool. Just one very minor problem. Yeah, I can't do them up. So I absolutely love them. I think they're really, really cute, but your girl cannot do the button up whatsoever. So I'm gonna see what size these jeans go up to. It's such a shame because I absolutely love how they fit on the legs. Like flipping love how they fit on the legs. Oh, I'm so upset because I actually think they're the nicest jeans. But it's probably my own fault. I don't know what I thought ordering a medium. I wasn't thinking. Really groovy and they're really cool. So I'm actually going to order the next size up. But I'm so desperate to get a picture in them. I'm tempted to somehow mask the fact that they don't fit me. So if I do end up getting a picture and posting it this week before the next size has arrived, please comment on that picture. Like, we know the reality here. Um... But I flip and love them. I think they're really cool. It's fine. I'm gonna order. I'm literally as soon as I finish filming this, gonna order them in the next size up because I do really love them. So this is the top. I actually love this. It's very soft, um, nice and oversized. I was thinking of like kind of cutting this or something, but I actually, I just quite like the fit of it like this, like loose. Could wear it with some baggy denim jeans. It's just an easy throw on. I mean, that's what I like their graphic tees for. I find them very, very easy to just throw on and go. Yeah, this is very cute. I like the little motorcycle moment. Obviously would love to be able to ride a motorcycle. That's on the bucket list. I'm gonna keep this t-shirt on and I'm gonna be risky here and try another piece of denim. This is the problem when you're a curvier girl or like you have hips or a bum and you try denim, it's always a little bit like Russian roulette. Like, is it gonna work? Is it not? But that's kind of the fun of it. I did see these on the website. <laughs> How cool are these? So this is what I like about Nasty They have like some cooler, quirkier, original pieces. Um, I've before got like upcycled Levi's from them and they do just have some really cool things. You kind of just look on the website, like scour the website and you'll find them. Flipping fell in love with this detail on the bum. Like I thought it was cheeky, cute, I loved it. They are looking again a little bit small and they don't have any stretch. So we're gonna play that game again while we see if I can get them on. Wish me luck. Let's give it a go. Howdy y'all, my name's Georgia May. Georgia May, Southern Belle. My mama told me that everything gonna be all right if I just find myself a nice Southern boy. Okay, that was absolutely awful. Let's just ignore it, but let's not ignore these shorts because these shorts are an absolute vibe. I never thought I would say that about a pair of denim shorts. Mark my words, I've never liked denim shorts. I've told you guys a hundred times we don't get on, we're not friends. All of these in the UK 12, I absolutely love the fit of them so much, but not only do I love the fit and like the vintage kind of style, oh my gosh, look at the back of these shorts. Like, you know what I mean? What do they say? Business in the front, party in the back? That is literally what's happening with them. I love this on the bum. I think it's just fun. It's a little bit different. Oh, I think they're really cool. And I actually really like them with this t-shirt. I think this is a nice outfit. I feel very comfortable in it. Again, could do trainers, you could do boots, you could do sandals, like whatever you want. Um, but oh my God, guys, we found a pair of denim shorts. The waist is actually not bad as well. Like this is them on the waist, like a little bit loose. Kind of perfect. Like, I really, I'm really vibing them. They are a vibe. 
I mean, this whole situation. I'm, sh I'm just shocked, guys. I just, denim shorts and me are never normally friends. So very excited to order these in the next size up and I'm very excited to wear these. Okay. Oh, and I'm throwing things on the floor. Now let's do a dress. I'm gonna do this little floral dress. I think it's really cute, a little bit retro, very hippie. I got this in a 10. It does come with the little kind of tie detail, so you can add a bit of structure and shape to your waist. So yeah, let's give this one a go. Okay guys, this is the little floral dress. I feel like I'm just getting like hit after hit with this haul. I don't know how I've got really lucky with this video. Like. I'm, I genuinely love everything in this video so much. Also just in a, a living good mood today. Like I'm in a good mood, good energy. Um, okay, so this is the little dress. I love this. I love anything like this. I think so cute with a pair of little cowboy boots, trainers. Um, you can do a leather jacket and make it maybe a little bit more edgy if that's more your sort of style. I tend to lean towards um, Nasty Gal for dresses because I like that they do this kind of thing where they make a dress and they add a little detail which gives you the shape. So you don't have to worry too much about the size that you end up going for. So I'm trying to do these little buttons up here. I've been trying to do them up for like two minutes but I do feel like in times like this you need a friend. Maybe a boyfriend, maybe just a parent, a guardian, somebody a sibling, I, you know, issues. Um, but I love this. I just, I love the print of it. It's very cool. I think you could like definitely use it as like a smart casual piece if you want to. Nice and summery, comfortable, but still a little bit covered. It's not too revealing. And I just, overall, I really, really like it. I think a lot of you will like something like this. You might be able to wear it to work or something. Um, and I like the way it looks. I love the way it looks, if I'm being honest. I'm just, buzzing because I actually love like literally everything in this video. I don't know what is going on. Next up I have these kind of floaty shorts. So I never normally lean towards shorts. I say it a lot here um, as I'm sure I've already, already said it in this video but I don't mind anything that has like floaty fabric to it. I just find it a heck of a lot more flattering. It kind of is a short but it looks a little bit more like a skirt. So I picked these up in a 12 and again, I really like them. I think for me, they'd be more of a holiday piece than a UK piece, just because of the length of them on the back. Like they are a little bit cheeky on me, but I would 100% grab these when I was on holiday. Like no doubt about it. I love the elasticated band because it means it fits nice and snug to your waist area, but then it's gonna kind of float over your hips. I think with a bikini, these would look really cute. And I tend to throw this style of short in like a beach bag. So say I was going down to the pool or the beach, like I tend to put these in my pool bag so that I have like shorts with me. Is that a little bit strange? Um, just if I need to like nip in to the bathroom or maybe like grab food, that's kind of when I tend to throw them on. So I know that seems a little bit crazy to be talking about holiday wear right now, but you never know, remain hopeful. Um, and I love the ditzy pattern. It's a little bit similar to the dress design. This kind of like floral, very like muted tones. Yeah, just really, really like the ditzy kind of floral pattern on these. It's given me a little bit more, what's the word, faith that I could order this style of short again, because I do just struggle with shorts a lot. I tend to not be able to find that many that I like, but I think this is a really nice option if you want to wear a short, but you want to feel comfortable in it. You don't want to get that horrible thing where your legs keep touching in between and they're just a lot more loose and comfortable. Okay, so this is fun and a little bit different. Um, I actually just bought like a bright red bag that I'm yet to unbox on this channel. I will be unboxing it. I think the video will be going out next week of the unboxing of that bag. But that's kind of what I had in mind to pair with that bag is a lot of like white kind of dresses. This is a maxi dress and this is a long, by the way. This is going right down to the floor. I think this would be amazing with some wedges. But if you're on the more petite side, maybe watch out for this one because it is honestly very, very long. What just drew me to it was this at the back. I mean, this is gorgeous. I love anything that's backless. I think it's a really nice way to show off a bit of skin, but it's not too much. Um, and on holiday with a tan, it would look so lovely. They also do this in a couple of other colorways, but the white was just so draw dro dropping. I just was like, I have to try the white out. Would be really lovely again with like a hat or something. Um, a straw bag. It is very, very summer, but I did want to include a couple of pieces in here that were summery, just so we had kind of a mix of things. I actually really do like it. I think I got this in a UK 10. I'll leave all my sizes below if you're wondering. It's kind of like that crepe sort of um, fabric and this is adjustable. So I've probably not done the best job of it because I've had to do it myself, but you sort of like weave it in and out and then you sort of tie it at the back. I mean, I can't, maybe I've done an awful job. 
Um, but I do love that. I mean, I love that when you're walking, the whole back is backless. I think this dress looks really quite expensive, if I'm being honest. It's giving me, again, a little bit of the Pinterest kind of vibes. I've got a really cute little straw hat over there that I think would look divine with this outfit. Definitely more of a summer, summer thing. But I thought it was cute. I've got one more thing to share with you guys quickly, and that is a blazer. It would not be a haul of mine if I didn't include one blazer. And I do think Nasty Gal are kind of known for their blazers. So one of my favorite blazers that I wear regularly is a white oversized blazer and a black oversized blazer. Both of those are from Nasty Gal. I've had them for quite a while and I love them. So I saw this and I thought this was a little bit fun, this kind of pop of yellow. So I got this one in a 12, by the way. Let's try her on. So this is the blazer. I did just throw it on with some kind of lavender cycling shorts. I wouldn't really pair this colour cycling short. I'd probably do like a nude one. But to be honest, I'd probably do like a yellow... Actually, no, I'd probably do a white dress, like a little white slip dress. Um, I've got a lot of those in my wardrobe, and I think that's kind of how I like to style these blazers up. Part of me wishes I'd oversized in this a bit more. I wish I'd kind of gone for like a really big size just because I kind of want to wear this in the evening and I feel like it would look particularly nice really really boxy so I might order it in a bigger size but I do quite like this size for the day with jeans and stuff um I love the button detail on this the color is just what drew me to it like I don't really have a bright yellow blazer I thought it was fun a little bit different um for a split second I thought my dog was a fox told you i'm actually not here today because my dog is a french bulldog let's just say they do not like anything like foxes and i just looked out the window it's broad daylight and i thought my dog was a fox running across the garden i need to get some sleep or something but i do think this would look so nice with like like look this kind of bag of an evening i've got obviously nothing on underneath at the moment but i would maybe do like a lacy cami or something a cord yeah i just wish maybe i'd sized up a bit but the color is super fun um, and that was what sort of drew me to it. Okay guys, so that actually ends it for this video. I had so much fun um, in today's video and just showing you all of the cool and crazy kind of bits and bobs that I grabbed from Nasty Gal. This hat has to be up there with one of the most crazy things I've ever purchased and shown you, but I, I love it. Like I absolutely love it. I can't get enough. I mentioned Nasty Gal definitely has kind of like different things and just more out there. They have really good festival things if that's something you're looking for. Summer, summer pieces. I feel like that's their strong suit. Um, I'm really impressed with everything. I'm definitely going to order those jeans in a bigger size because I really like them. So I'm actually going to go and do that now. If you have any questions about sizes or anything that you feel like I haven't answered in this video, just shoot me a message below and I will definitely get back to you. Hope you're doing well and having a fabulous day. Don't forget to comment below, subscribe, thumbs the video up and also please, please check me out on Instagram. Um, and I'm sure I will speak to you all in my next one. I've got so many fun uploads coming next week. I've got house tours, I've got homeware hauls, um, vlogs, like luxury unboxings. I've got fun things coming. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Have a fab day. Thank you for Nasty Gal for working with me. Don't forget to use my code. I will leave it below and I will see you in my next one.